Hi folks, Buffin here with your Antifa News Briefer for October 9th, 2021. This edition is about Trump virus in Afghanistan. I heard a journalist on the radio yesterday or the day before on NPR talking about the state of Afghanistan right now. And the host asked him, NPR host asked him, well, what about COVID in Afghanistan? How is, what's going on with the COVID situation um, with all this other chaos and stuff going on in Afghanistan? And he said, there is no COVID in Afghanistan. Or he said, there's not, there aren't hospitalizations. Where we, we, where we did have hospitalizations, so he's not saying that COVID doesn't exist. He's saying that where we did have hospitalizations for COVID, we don't anymore. And then he jokes, even the COVID is afraid of the Taliban. Well, it's not really, but he's telling a joke. The problem is he's an intelligent person who doesn't understand how stupid people think and how when stupid people hear that, like stupid Trumpers in America, they don't probably believe him that you know, Trump virus is scared of the Taliban, but they don't think that Trump virus exists. So they don't hear the other part where he says, you know, in the hospitals, you know, where there used to be COVID patients, there aren't anymore. They only hear him say, even COVID is scared of the Taliban, or the, mostly they just hear him say, there is no COVID in Afghanistan. Now, if there's no COVID in Afghanistan, good. If that's a byproduct of the Taliban taking over, good. It's not because the Taliban had some great plan to eliminate COVID. It's because if people leave their homes, they'll be shot or the Taliban's going to hang them. So people don't leave their homes. It's been two or three weeks. Nobody left their homes. The virus goes away. That's like a way to do it. You don't have to have the Taliban. You don't have to have terrorists taking over your country to keep everybody at home. You could have a good government that just says, hey, everybody, stay at home. We'll pay you and feed you to stay at home. We could have had a good government that did that, but we didn't. We had a terrorist government that pushed the virus. And it just goes to show. I mean, he might not be entirely correct. It might just be that people suffer at home instead of even trying to go to the hospital in Afghanistan now. But if people stay at home and everybody stays at home at the same time, for whatever reason, the virus would go away. We just needed to do that. And maybe we still do because it keeps mutating just as all the scientists predicted. But it does kind of disappoint me the way they phrase that to let stupid... But I mean, you can't, you can't think for stupid people. You have to try to give the, somebody information that can give it to the stupid people that they understand. But we have to actually talk to and focus on smart people if we can find them. So thanks for watching, commenting. See you soon.